since this bike was manufactured probably in 2011, although by the documents in 2000, 2012, and uh, nobody since then ever rebuilt the front and uh, back caliper. Not like they need to be rebuilt, but they're dirty. So I've decided to clean them up using some YouTube videos for reference, and uh, this is a short video about how I've done it on my SMR. Since I have uh, just a basic amount of tools at my home, at my disposal, and I don't really want to use this one because uh, it can damage the bolts itself, I'm not sure how to work with this problem right now. Another thing that I've noticed as well, that I already managed to overcome the problem, those bolts, they have this uh, star-like shape on the heads, and uh, I've managed to find the tool for that. This is it. I already um, loosened them a, bit, a little bit, because it is better to do when the caliper is bolted to the wheel. So I've just loosened them a little bit, and now I have to remove the caliper. I really don't want to use this kind of a wrench. It is not wise to use them, because when you use them, they can easily be displaced, damaging the bolt itself, and that's not something I would like to do. But I have nothing for this tool to use with this kind of bolts. something I really don't want to mess this up actually this also hurts my old snowboarding gloves because when I use this thing it actually hurts my arm a bit I didn't think that's gonna, this part was gonna be a hard one I don't want to use a hammer I could use a hammer but I don't want to do I have to? is it twice? I really, really don't like the idea of using the hammer here. It seems like it doesn't do any harm to the bolt, so I think I'll just, I'll just stick with using this method for now. And by the way, if you notice this uh, paper decals there, oh, it's a project I'm designing my own and I was trying them out before I'm actually giving them to put in. So, don't think about me writing this with those. Okay, we've got the bottom one. Fine. We have to do the top one now. No turning back now. We have to keep on. I think I'll have to get back to you when I'm done with this thing because it might take a while. I've managed to do it actually. It's been just like about a couple of minutes. <laughs> it took quite amount of force to break it. But the good news is that I think that the bolt itself was not damaged. Now what I have to do is I have to remove this uh, bungee bolt here and place it somewhere on top so all the liquid uh, won't get out. I have to find some kind of some kind of way to hold up there, and I think I know the way. It's always nice to have some zip ties at home. You never know where they can come in handy, and they always do. It's also a good idea to have some kind of medicine gloves back at home. Ah, we're small hands. Let's see, what I have to do? I have my zipper bag. You can guess what I used to use those kind of for. The idea is that we put it all the way up here and I use this one just to conceal it so nothing can get out.
So this is the construction that I came, I came up with. I actually zip tied a small bag on top of it to stop fluid from getting out and uh, zip tied the whole thing up here. I'm a bit worried about the bag fluid <laughs> dripping on my head because it's just right above me right now. It's been quite a long time actually since I have done all this kind of procedures. It's been like about Three years since the last time I changed the brake pads on my previous motorcycle, so... I'm a bit rusty on this side. As I said... <sighs> the brake caliper is... very dirty. I'm really interested if those brake pads are still the original ones or not. Um, curious about that. The whole reason why we're doing this is I just want to clean and there's nothing wrong with it. I didn't feel any anything any problems with the braking or anything like that. You have to press this thing down very hard and then the pin just comes out. And now we can remove the brake pads. I think it's the original one. I think they are. Here comes the hardest part by far. I have no idea how to pull these things out without the compressor. And I do not have the compressor. I have one trick up my sleeve. I'm gonna wash my hands and see what I can do. I've managed to successfully take out the pistons out of the caliper. It was a very messy job, so be careful doing it at home because the splashes of brake fluid went everywhere. I went to auto service, uh, the nearest to my house, and asked them to permission to use the air compressor. What you have to do is you have to blow the air into this hole and uh, to make sure that this one on this side of the caliper is closed because I had problems <laughs> with this. I couldn't understand why uh, the air doesn't go to the pistons and they didn't move at all. So I thought uh, they may, may, might be stuck, but they were not. Uh, it's just because the air had a better way to escape rather than push the pistons out. So that's it. The pistons themselves seem to be quite okay. Even though I might have damaged one a little bit couple of scratches there. I think it's uh, when I try to use the pliers, even though I try to use them with them piece of cloth, still damage them. Uh, as you can see here, this one is already finished. It's clean, very, very clean. It's very nice and shiny. I had some problem taking out the rings there, and uh, there's still some amount of dirt there. I can I don't really know how to clean it, there's still water there as well. And just uh, while I'm recording this right now, I wanted to show you side by side comparison what was and what has become all this nine <laughs> years of dirt came out of nicely. This is interesting, I think this is still an original part. <laughs> the ones that came with the motorcycle all those years ago. As you can see the wear on them is quite insignificant. I used just a dishwash with a warm water. It took me quite a lot of time actually to scrape it all off. I was using just a normal toothbrush. There used to be rubber seals here. I took them using the needle, I just stuck the needle into it and gently pushed it out. Tried my best not to damage the inner or outer part. What I had problem with is the inside seals. The, the thing is that they have a small gap beneath them, so you have to grab them from beneath that that gap somehow and I tried doing it with my finger, didn't work. 
I try to see some kind of a, a part of the plastic. It didn't work as well. And uh, when I got really frustrated, I also tried to use it with a bent needle. Couldn't do it either. The needle falls from um, medicine uh, syringe, so it broke off quite easily. So what I did, I did this uh, amazing uh, high qualification tool. It's actually a paper clip and I made this lever quite short because uh, I want to put as much pressure on it as I can humanly do. So it's not easy, it might take some time still to pull it out because those inner rings, those bottom rings, they're quite hard material and also you have to work it very gently so Sorry, this is actually the easiest one I had so far. Seriously, you should see how long I've been uh, trying to get out the first one. And then just uh, popped out. My huge cat came to help. Let's take out the second one. Oh, this one came very easy. Very handy too, by the way. Cheap to make, just one paper clip and uh, a couple of pliers to cut it up. I think I will be reusing all the seals because I think those seals are actually still okay. The time has come for the real great caliper. This one is good. Right, it's not as dirty. This is a road bike. <laughs> Guess what the guys get on the Enduro motorcycle. Now the brake caliper is off. Um, it's 6 in the morning right now, so the service flowed yet. So I'm gonna just gonna wash those parts first of all. And this is just gonna lie around for a while. And I'm going to remove all the rust from the inner section of the brake uh, discs on the front and the back just because I don't like the way it looks right now. So, it's been another day and uh, I'm finished, the brake calipers are clean and uh, it's time to rebuild them. I was going to clean some rust from my disc brakes. Unfortunately, the product that I specifically bought for the stars, the Liquid Moly Fast Rust uh, Solvent, didn't do anything to the rust at all. It just doesn't work like that. Uh, from what I read on the reviews of this product, it actually works like WD-40, but costs more. So if you're looking for solution for your rust, this is not the thing to buy. Although, I went online and I browsed some basic and cheap ways to solve this problem. And I, was, I tried baking soda, it didn't work as well. But after that, um, I... I decided that I will leave the brake disc so alone, but I had some rust on my um, bungee bolt, bolt itself, so I wanted to remove that. <laughs> I read that one of the methods to do that is actually to use the lemon, which I had, and there wasn't much, much rust on it, but I decided to give it a shot. So I took them all apart, I put them in a bucket, and uh, I squeezed the lemon inside. 
and uh, it took me like about three fourths of the lemon to fill that amount of space and the rest I just used for my drink. Half an hour later I took off the parts out and I found out to my surprise that yes, the rust was gone but also was all the paint. Uh, while I was scrubbing uh, the bungee bolts with the toothbrush the paint was completely gone. Not all the rust went away though, I might say, so it's not a very strong solution to this uh, particular problem, but anyway. And uh, then I decided that since uh, I don't have any more paint on those bungee bolts, I will just uh, paint the sides that are actually are not connected to anything. And I made this amazing device. I think it looks quite good. I have had some help though. The first Thus cat came to help. Then another one came also for inspection. And sometime later the third one. They all for some reason were interested in the toothpicks I used to hold my pieces in place. Now let's get to get to the brake characters itself. Well, now the piston is in place, now I need to apply some grease. I actually want some more grease inside. And because we don't want the grease to attract any more dirt, we'll just have to clean out the old exterior parts. I really don't know how much of the grease I should use here, so I'm giving it a fair amount. Okay, here's the thing, this small the rubber part should be inserted before the actual mount on the caliper because otherwise it's probably gonna be too hard to squeeze it inside. Now it stays on. It sits there nicely. Now we can do it again. And this rubber part it jumps right on the bolt so it doesn't have any problems with that anymore. With the rear brake caliper in place, let's get to the front one. Well, our front caliper is back and running. Uh, I didn't install brake pads just yet, and we're doing it in a second. And I've decided that I'm not actually going to be installing uh, the front end brake caliper just yet. I want to attach the brake fluid line first, while it is still up here, so when I put it down, it does not spill all over the caliper itself. I think it's a good idea, and I can't do that before I get my bungee bolts. Uh, drive out from the painting, so I won't be doing it in this video. Anyway, that's it. It was fun, and uh, I hope you enjoy watching it. Thanks, bye.